All right, so today I'll show you how to use um, the what if analysis. I'm gonna, we're gonna make a data table here. So let's say we have a, a project here that has initial outflow of $250,000, we'll call that year one. Uh, and then we'll say the, the investment or, or whatever the machine produces output for 10 years. And let's say that the initial uh, output is $50,000. Uh, so these are cash flows, right? Um, so then let's say that the cash flows uh, grow by, um, let's have a growth rate here. Let's say 2% uh, per year. And then we'll have a discount rate. percent so if we're gonna grow this by two percent per year we'll put that in here uh, so then we can calculate the uh, NPV so the rate we'll use is that the values as these. So this is positive MPV. So uh, the question is how sensitive is this, uh, this positive MPV to changes in growth rate and uh, changes in discount rate? Perhaps we can back this up to 30,000 um, to make it more interesting. Okay. So on the one axis we can uh, vary discount rate. We'll say, uh, let's start at 1% equals that plus 0.01 um, okay let's go up to over 15 and then here we'll start at 1% uh, So the way to do a table is, uh, a two-way table, is to reference the cell right here, so equals the MPV, and then select everything and hit uh, what if analysis data table. So the row is this, and I didn't label this, let's label it before I get confused. Um, so this is growth rate on this axis. So data table, what if analysis data table. So the row input cell is my growth rate. The column, meaning this, is the discount rate. And we're gonna hit enter, see what happens here. All right, so let's, let's just make sure that we're not crazy here. So the growth rate two, discount rate eight, should give us our initial MP. All right, so it looks to be working okay. So that's how you do a two-way table. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do a one-way table. If, if you're only interested in varying NPV, or sorry, one of the two variables, for example, discount rate, let's go to our, um, so it's the same deal. You reference the NPV equation here, but here um, we're just going to have one, one variable. So let's see if I don't screw this up. Um, so yeah, we, we select this, this area here, and what do we decide? We're gonna vary discount rate only. So we go data, table, what if analysis, data table. Uh, this is a column, uh, so the, the column input cell, we're gonna vary the discount rate. Uh, hit enter, and then we'll turn this into dollar signs. Um, so let's, okay, so the 8% jives, uh, let's just change this to 9% and see if, like, it jives. So 27,009, 27,190. So we're good. So that's how to use data tables. Um, so if we wanted to do a row instead, for some reason, it's the same deal. Um, we're going to reference this MPV, and then we're going to select everything. We're going to go what if analysis, data table. Now it's the row input cell. We'll vary 
the discount rate, hit enter, enter. We're good to go. Turn this in the follows, make it look pretty. And it's the same exact thing as this, just transpose. So that's data tables. It can be very confusing if you don't <laughs> know exactly what to highlight and all that. But with a little tutorial, you should be good to go.